Paint color names can be confusing and misleading sometimes, especially when they have the name white. Because there's a lot of paint colors out there that have the word white, but they're really not a white. For example, Benjamin Moore Ballet White, that's a grange. Or Panda White by Sharon Williams, that's a taupe grange. Or Soji White by Sharon Williams, that's a green beige grange. So I think you get it. You've got to be really careful when a paint color name has the word white. And today's paint color review is called White Sesame by Sharon Williams. And it's another good example of a paint color that's not a white. And today I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about White Sesame because I want you to get this right. You can find Sharon Williams White Sesame in the Emerald Designer Edition. Came out about a year or so ago. I'm a big fan of this paint color. It's a great neutral. It tends to lean on the warm side of colors, but you gotta be really careful when you compare this with the fixed elements that you may have in your home, and you got to be mindful when it comes to lighting. For those of you that don't have a lot of natural lighting in your home, or maybe it's a north-facing room, don't be surprised if it looks cool, and sometimes it can look dingy, but not when you pair it correctly. So today, I'm gonna to show you the undertones of white sesame, and then I'm gonna compare it with some other similar paint colors so that you get a different perspective of what makes this paint color so unique. And then towards the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you two trim paint colors that pair really well with Sharon Williams white sesame. So the first thing that you need to know about Sharon Williams white sesame are the undertones. And this is really important to get this part right because it's going to play a key role on how this paint color could look like in your home. So watch what happens when I compare Benjamin Moore Balboa Mist, which is considered a violet gray. Watch this. When you compare Benjamin Moore Balboa Mist, you're going to instantly notice how white sesame has a little bit of that brown, a little bit of that gray. This is a textbook taupe paint color. But there's something else that you need to know about Sharon Williams white sesame. So watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Elmera White, which is considered a pretty light taupe. Watch this. When you compare Benjamin Moore Elmara White, you're going to notice just how light Sharon Williams White Sesame is. And then in comparison to Elmara White, it almost looks like a beige grayish. But still, it's got that little bit of shade. That's what makes it a taupe. And this is a textbook taupe grayish. So what you need to know is that Sharon Williams White Sesame is a taupe grayish, which means it's just a light taupe. Next, I'm going to compare it with some other taupe grayish paint colors to help give you an idea of what makes this paint color so unique. Before I compare these light taupe paint colors with Sharon Williams White Sesame, I just want to emphasize the importance of you getting a paint sample of Sharon Williams White Sesame. Please compare this with your fixed elements, your interior decor, and be mindful of the lighting that you have in your home. I want you to get this right. I don't want you to make a costly mistake. All right, so the first light toe gray paint color I'm going to show you is called Benjamin Moore Pell Oak. It's considered a light, cool taupe. Watch this. When you compare Pell Oak, with Sharon Williams White Sesame, you're going to instantly see how White Sesame is a warm taupe in comparison to Pell Oak. And just notice when you look at Pell Oak, you're just going to see a little bit of that violet undertone in Pell Oak. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams Pacer White, which is considered a taupe grayish. Watch this. When you compare Sharon Williams Pacer White with Sharon Williams White Sesame, you're going to notice how White Sesame is darker and warmer than Pacer White, as Pacer White is cooler and lighter than Sharon Williams White Sesame. Now, watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams Edward White, which is considered a taupe grayish as well. Watch this. When you compare Egret White with Sharon Williams White Sesame, you're going to instantly notice how Egret White leans on the cool sides of taupes. And you're going to notice how White Sesame is a warm taupe. And you will also know, if you pay close attention, how Egret White, you see just a little bit of that violet undertone. For those of you that want to paint your home Sharon Williams White Sesame and you're thinking about repainting your trims, then I recommend these two warm trim paint colors. 
first one is called Benjamin Moore Simply White. This is considered a warm-up white. It's got just a touch of warm, a little bit of yellow, pairs and contrasts really well with white sesame. And the second one that I recommend is called Sherwin Williams Alabaster. It's just a little bit creamier, but again, it leans on the warm-up whites, pairs beautifully with white sesame. However, a bonus tip for those of you that have a kitchen cabinet that's a true white, and when I say a true white, just think of Chantelet Lace or High Reflective White by Sharon Williams. If you were to paint your trims with either Simply White or Sharon Williams Alabaster, it's going to make those trims look more yellow than they really are. Why? Because your kitchen cabinets are a true white. So please be really careful about what trim paint colors that you pair this paint color with and be mindful on the type of fixed elements that you have in your home. And by the way, if you do have that situation, you might want to compare it with a lighter trim paint color. Maybe try out Sharon Williams Pure White. If you found this video helpful, please put a like, let me know. I want to hear from you. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I highly recommend you subscribe to this channel if you want to learn everything that you need to know about paint colors. And I want to help you prevent from making a costly mistake. I would love to have you here. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.